In the final minute of their game against Illinois Saturday, Wisconsin would turn to a trick big man touchdown play to get the victory. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and break it down. So as we watch this play, you'll notice that there's going to be a pre-snap shift by the two tight ends that are originally aligned to the offense's left side. Number 38, Tucker Ashcroft, is going to come and line up right here as a tight end. And then number 87, Hayden Rucci, is going to come and line up back in the backfield to make a split back look. In addition to this shift, what I want you to notice as well is there's an extra offensive lineman for Wisconsin on the field. He's lined up to the right. So now there's three offensive linemen to the right of the center. This will make this an unbalanced formation once the snap occurs. And that's really important to notice because it's going to affect how Illinois responds to the shift, to the formation, and really opens it up for the throw to the backside. And so once the shift occurs, you'll notice pre-snap the Illinois defense move to their left. They're going to adjust to this unbalanced formation. And because of that, no one notices that the receiver up here, number 13, Samir Dyke, is up. He's off the line. He's not on the line right now. So that makes the tackle be eligible. Nolan Rucci, and no one seems to have noticed that he's put on an eligible number. Nolan Rucci is wearing number 93 as his jersey when this play occurs. So at the snap, Dyke is going to run to the middle of the field to try and sit over the ball. He's going to draw the corner with him to act as a rub route for anybody who might try to cover uh, Rucci on this play. Nolan Rucci is going to set pass, 1,001, 1,000, and then release and run to his left. And all Braden Law has to do is throw the ball up. Now, he almost overthrows the six foot eight offensive lineman. But luckily for him, uh, Nolan Rucci is an athlete. Don't let anybody ever tell you. Offensive linemen, they got to be athletes as well. And so it results in a touchdown. It's a game-winning play. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. But it's a really well-designed way of getting all this movement to distract Illinois to not notice that the tackle is going to be eligible on this play. Let's go ahead and, re and remove all of this, and then we're going to run the play. Oh, and one other thing I did just forget to mention. The receiver will also tighten down his split so that he's closer, so that his route, when he runs it, allows him to be able to get over the middle to really cause the inability of the defense to get over and stop the play. Let me go ahead and erase the, the play art so that you guys can see, and we'll run the play right now. So you see how he comes down, closes his split down, and now we get the action. We'll run it one more time. Big men, don't let anybody ever tell you that offensive linemen can't make plays, that they're not athletes. This is from an old former old line coach. Okay? Watch Nolan Rucci, step pass, kick out, go. All right? One more time. Let's count it. 1,001, 1,000. Just like I said. Timing's perfect. No one's ready for it on Illinois' side. Touchdown. And Wisconsin gets the victory on the way out. If you've enjoyed this type of content, please make sure to let me know down below. Make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe. On the end screen, there'll be more recommended. There'll be a recommended video. That will be another breakdown video probably for you. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of the day.